so there's a lot of confusion amongst young people that wait a minute you know we, we don't sign up to what Osama's doing we didn't sign up to you know uh, for, uh, about suicide bombing but yet we're not about Hollywood you know we have our own identity the successful identity of rock bands like Janoon, which also sells products in Pakistan. Only Bollywood film stars get that job across the border in India. It's a border that Shalom and the other members of Fusion are preparing to cross for the first time. Following the lead set by Janoon's appeal for cross-border cultural links, Fusion are flying to Delhi to join a concert promoting peace between the nuclear rivals. We are very, very, very excited about it. Yay! <laughs> On a serious side, I feel like, you know, the ambassador for the youth, and, uh, well, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the best behavior. <laughs> One hour later, Fusion emerges at New Delhi Airport. But apart from the sight of a few turban-wearing Sikhs, they seem barely aware that they ever left home. This place right now, you know. and the people and uh, the weather, weather, everything is the same. Everything is the same. It feels like we never left. <laughs> We're back. It's such cultural similarities between the people of India and Pakistan that are being highlighted at this concert in New Delhi. But the same early monsoon weather that Pakistanis will experience across the border in Lahore threatens to spoil this rare night out in India. It'll be a bad luck, but I hope it won't rain. At least for our performance, at least. <laughs> the rain comes down, but it's not enough to dissuade the audience from witnessing another small break in the dark cloud, which has hung over the two nations' relationship for 57 years. music quickly strikes a chord and they are joined on stage by a top Indian band. So uh, these guys have no idea what the song is all about and I don't know what the song is going to happen so it will be good to hear it. fantastic the Pakistani band and our country band is also really fantastic and I think it's really a nice effort. It's about the love, peace, harmony and that's a nice gesture. There has always been this thing between uh, India and Pakistan where all these, there's this tension about safety and security and all of that and I think the fact that they've come here and they've played so confidently speaks a lot.
amazing, you know. It felt really good. It felt really good. The people were really surprised and they were having a lot of fun. Do you feel emotional about it? Yeah. Yes, yes. Emotional, happy. Excited. No. I think we can describe the feeling. It's, uh, you it's, can't describe it's more than anything. A few weeks later, Janoon Salman Ahmed arrives in Delhi to promote his new music video filmed in Lahore and at Patiala in India. Here, he is meeting the current occupants of his family's ancestral home. Salman's relatives were forced to abandon the house when they fled to Pakistan in 1947. Now it features in the film clip. The song's titled Gum Tana, which means harmonious journey, and features Salman and the famous Indian actress Nadita Das. Kuntana's musical metaphor, but it's also a spiritual metaphor which people living in the subcontinent, Indians and Pakistanis, Muslims, Hindus, Sikhs, understand instinctively. It's a metaphor for harmony. It's a metaphor for a journey. We are on a journey. I mean, we're reaching the 57th independence anniversary, but we've been together as a people for 5,700 years. So, friendship is inscripted in the DNA of the people of the subcontinent. And I think whatever the things the governments have to work out, they should work out, but they should allow people to meet each other. So, and this is what we try to do through this film.